Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kaushal Mehta and uh, I'm going to walk you through the Iraj PAM solution and how it helps organizations manage, monitor and control their privilege accounts better with Iraj PAM. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, walk you through this concept of privilege identity and access management and tell you where uh, Iraj uh, PAM uh, fits in and how it helps organizations worldwide. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about this a solution called Iraj Privileged Access Management Solution. Uh, you know, let's get started from you know from the current situation. What organizations have in their environment? Let's say customers have you know uh, you know their data center, enterprise data center, and within that uh, data center, they have uh, a set of devices which includes servers, your network elements, then your databases, then your applications, your storage devices, maybe cloud infrastructure and uh, you know NAS and etc. So all these assets are you know in your in any customer enterprise environment. Now, how do customers or how do admins within the organization access these devices? So there are admins managing these assets and they come in from different parts you know, of the world or different locations. They access these devices. Uh, generally, they access it through either RDP, your SSH, Telnet is banned these days, your browser and say uh, thick clients like Toad, SQL Developer, Checkpoint and all that. Now, what are the challenges in this kind of an environment? Let's say I'm an admin trying to access the servers. So what do I do? I take RDP access to the servers. The, the typical challenges in this kind of environment. First, where are the passwords? The passwords are in the hands of the admin. You have to give them the uh, root and admin credential to log into these devices. And typically these passwords are uh, you know easy to guess they are the same across the devices uh, they are not rotated uh, frequently and they are known to these people those admins who are supposed to access these devices so the challenge is password management is a big challenge and a big risk for the organization second is where are the logs where are the logs of all these assets yes you can say that I have you know I'm an admin I've taken access to all the servers and all, all the logs are present on the servers and you know I can see who has done what but the problem is this admin has you know root access on the server and they can delete the logs they can edit the logs they can uh, they literally format the device they can switch up the logs and do whatever they want and you can go uh, you know spot free and trace free so logs is a big challenge in a privileged environment then it leads to issues audit issues the auditors ask you know fundamental questions like where are the passwords how are you storing them how are you holding them how are you changing them at what frequency and so on so it leads to a lot of audit issues uh, which also leads to compliance issues if you want to file regulatory compliance you will have issues right typically people go for pci compliance or iso 27001 compliance or you know other standards worldwide but you know you will have challenges around compliance uh, what kind of visibility and control do you have in this environment? You typically don't have visibility on this environment. Do you have visibility in terms of who's doing what? Which users are logged into my data center right now? Who's doing what and who's doing who is executing what commands and taking they you not know, doing what on my enterprise environment? You don't have. Even if you have visibility, let's say the guy is sitting next to you and you're watching them over the shoulder. But what kind of control do you have once you give him admin access? Once you give him her ad, give her admin access, you know that that's missing in the current environment uh, for enterprises. What about internal frauds? Research says that eighty percent of fraud is because of some insider, which means that a you know worldwide all the type all the different frauds that happen if you do the root cause analysis most probably you are likely to find that the internal user is responsible for this fraud for this incident that has happened either they've compromised the credentials either they've shared the credentials with somebody from uh, with whom you know somebody has come with with those credentials with somebody 
from which they, they came into your systems and compromised the data and uh, attacked your enterprise. But most probably, the fraud is you know very difficult to find when it is an internal person and it takes months or even years to figure out who has done it. So this is a big challenge. Then we are talking about cloud infrastructure, cloud security these days. If you have, you know, rolled out your infrastructure on cloud, if you have migrated to cloud or if you have hybrid infrastructure which is on-premise and cloud, you want to figure out what's going on in your cloud environment, uh, you know, is, you know, are people getting the access they are supposed to have, have you given them just-in-time access, have you given them time-restricted access or not, these challenges are existing even in your enterprise environment and so, so more so on the cloud. And then what about you know your uh, vendor management how do you manage your vendors effectively today uh, you know everybody's work from home so literally even your own employees have become you know you know vendors to you because they're coming from different locations from different places and accessing your infrastructure so how do you manage your vendors effectively and finally there's a question mark around how do you you know manage your governance risk and compliance within the organization especially in the BFSI and uh, you know sectors which are sitting on money and money is flowing through their, uh, their businesses uh, the governance risk and compliance is very critical uh, there are risk managers in enterprises that focus only mitigating the risk and what are the risks your logs and passwords are a big risk for the organization if that gets compromised your organization goes for a toss so now let's look at uh, you know this scenario which is the existing scenario and and where do we fit in so what we are saying we are telling our customers is Look at, you know, uh, put Iraj Pam in between. Okay, you put Iraj Pam in between. Let everybody first log in to this and then access your target environment. Okay, so now people are not going direct onto their environment, onto the uh, enterprise environment. They are logging into the Pam first and then going into the target devices. Now, here you authenticate with AD first and then you do 2FA before you, you log in. So all your assets that are configured behind the PAM solution are automatically AD integrated and automatically behind two-factor authentication. This will help you save a lot of money in buying separate point solutions for 2FA AD authentication, trying to struggle getting your network devices behind AD or your uh, you know database is integrated or your servers you know doing AD bridging and all that. It's not required. You can integrate any device in Iraj PAM out of the box without any connectors. We are the only solution, possibly only solution in the world that gives you single sign-on to any device out of the box. Now, I'll first let me address these uh, areas where the challenges are and how this solution manage, you know, addresses those challenges. So first, where are the passwords? The passwords are all bolted in Iraj Pan and nobody has access to all the passwords. You get single sign-on to all the devices out of the box. So single sign-on to any servers, any the, the network devices, router switches, firewalls, any databases, database tools, Thick clients, thin clients, applications, storage, security, cloud, everything, all single sign out of the box. No connectors whatsoever. And this is unheard of in the PAM space. We are the only company. So all the passwords are voted and all secured, rotated. So you are safe, secure. Nobody has a password, but still the same access to the router, you know, your infrastructure. Second, where are the logs? So the passwords are taken care of. Where are the logs? The logs are also inside the inside the Raj PAM vault. What it means is you have one version of logs which are not in the hands of admin. They have access to all these logs because they are admin on these devices, but they are not. They don't have OS admin of this device, and hence the logs of all these devices which are stored in the world in the in the PAM solution are not available to them. One version of truth for the entire organization: untampered logs. Okay, in the same formatting across the devices, which is also making it centralized. One simple you know way to manage that. Third. The audits become simpler because the auditor is asking you questions, give me the, that report, give me this report, give me that access report, who is not using, which commands are being executed in what device and so on. So everything is, is available you know, in the reports and hence your, your audits become simpler. It's easier to you know, uh, give all the data that the auditor is asking now. It helps you file regulatory compliances because all the reports are mapped to the regulatory requirements of the industry. And you can file your regulatory compliance on PCI, you can file it on ISO 27001 or you can file it for other global standards. And if you are in a different geography, you can file those respective compliances for the organization. 
what kind of visibility you get full visibility in terms of who's doing what there are two types of logs getting generated every session going through the iraj pan is getting video recorded every session going from pan is logged there is a key logger that logs every machine input going through the iraj pan so you get full visibility you can see anybody session live you can terminate their session you can you know uh, you can do text search within those videos a command search who has fired what commands within the videos you can get it so you get full visibility and control control in the sense you can put command controllers on linux unix ax ssh uh, which includes your router switches firewalls access through putty you can also get command controllers or you know app, you know controls on windows you can restrict you know critical commands or critical you know uh, uh, commands on windows for example you don't want the user to do uh, a shutdown you can block them you can you don't want a user to do uh, you know control panel you can block that you can you don't want them to do powershell you can block that uh, and so on you can you can do application you know blocking on the fly command controllers even on windows and linux unix ax sun solaris network south router switches firewall that are accessed through rdp or ssh so these kind of you know you get full visibility and control on your environment what about internal frauds everything is video recorded everything every session is getting logged so the propensity of somebody to do a fraud goes down even if they want to do a fraud they know that everything is recorded they will think twice or thrice before they even try doing this now this helps preventing fraud a lot of people keep saying that pam is used for you know post mortem no it is not used for post mortem it is also for security posturing within the organization for controls in the organization to ensure that people don't do frauds first it prevents fraud so this helps you in preventing the fraud what about cloud security all your applications third party applications cloud applications everything can be configured behind pam the admin consoles of that can be accessed by that admin through the pam solution and hence you can monitor your cloud instances get security around the cloud instances do just in time access do you know time based access to even the cloud uh, devices what about vendor management all vendors are going through this every session is recorded every session is logged you can see logs specific to vendors you can see you know activities done by specific vendors on devices and you can get full visibility on your vendor environment as well what about grc overall what it does is it improves the governance which is the transparency in the organization it improves the risk management it helps you manage the risk around passwords and logs and it improves the compliance which means you can file regulatory compliance with the regulatory you know, third parties so that you can tell the you know uh, third party or tell these regulators that you are following certain security best practices so overall this solution improves your governance risk and compliance as well now this is where the pam solution comes in and this is where iraj pam comes in now uh, let me let me tell you if i have to summarize this and tell you what this solution does okay i'll simply write down what this solution in summary does for the organizations okay so first it helps you manage the identity uh, identity and access governance second it helps you manage monitor and control which users privileged users we are not talking end users we are talking privileged users privileged accesses okay or privileged accounts as they call it so we are talking identity and access governance for privileged users to manage monitor and control privileged accounts and accesses to to do what to improve visibility and control to improve visibility and control to prevent internal frauds and finally to improve the overall governance risk and compliance of the organization this is in a nutshell what iraj pam is all about and how it helps organizations to manage monitor and control their privilege accesses thank you